Hi, I'm Joseph Huddle with Huddle Landscape Architecture for landscapingnetwork.com. So this project involved a retrofit or a renovation of an existing yard and we had an existing swimming pool which uh, was not exactly movable uh, with the given budget. Um, but during the design process we uh, explored different options of how far to go with other elements and fairly early on one of the things we determined was uh, it was worthwhile to retain the existing concrete decking. So working with the concrete decking and we uh, cut it a little bit on the perimeter to change the shape, the perimeter shape to fit our new design. Um, the color was already fairly neutral. Uh, we didn't have any disagreements with that. So then from there we expanded and created new walls, a new uh, flagstone terrace, and um, we kept existing beautiful Japanese maples as well as some other uh, existing trees and the, the back lawn above us. Um, and then in the meantime we incorporated a new outdoor dining area with a barbecue, a new uh, water feature, and several other elements. So during the design process, uh, we did a, uh, a fairly simple 3D model on this one. And then otherwise, mostly we were working in plan view. Uh, and we looked at the layouts. And then during that phase, before we get into the details and the planting design, um, we do a uh, itemized cost estimate of uh, which which each uh, schematic design would generate. So we looked at a, a, a plan A and a plan B, and um, when we looked at that, uh, we looked at potential for replacing the concrete, and it, uh, for the extra cost, we didn't see enough benefit in that respect. I'm Joseph Huddle for landscapingnetwork.com. Thanks for watching.